Hi, Phil Itzy from Phil's House Power. You guys know I run light speed racing wheels. They're magnesium. Um, I've had uh, three different colors on these wheels already. <laughs> I got them. Uh, they were this color, which I actually really liked. It was a cool bronze. Looked good on my Nardo Audi. So I got these. These are pretty sweet. Um, this is the back side. They glue onto this piece of plastic, and then this uh, you know, it has a little ring and just slips into the hub, right? So you can see that on this one. Uh, then I got them painted because the paint was coming off. So under warranty, Patrick from Lightspeed painted them and, and I got this color, which I really liked as well. But the uh, paint job was eh, something to be desired for me. It wasn't finished off right. Uh, he was going to get them painted again. Uh, I didn't want to bother him anymore. I just decided to go to my local place. I, it re required me going and shipping, uh, sending the wheels to him and all that stuff. So it was a little bit of a, you know, it wasn't wasn't terribly difficult. It just, you know, I don't want to worry about it. It's easier just to go and do stuff yourself sometimes. So uh, I went to uh, Powder Coat Place and they told me to get some, check out Prismatic and these are color samples. You can go to prismatic.com or maybe it's prismaticcolors.com. Anyways, you can go on there and you can order these color samples. And so I was, I just wanted to get a whole variety of things. Um, these, this one maybe had a contention. It's kind of this, uh, this kind of a bronze. Uh, but I really like some of these bright colors. This kind of a, uh, what was this called? It was called, um, Illusion Copper. Uh, this is called Lollipop Red, which would have been crazy bright and cool. This is a cool purple. Uh, this one is okay. Um, I, I end up going with uh, another yellow color, uh, kind of a goldish color. I really like. I actually, I really, really like it. Uh, I don't have that with me. I don't know where my sample is. But anyways, so I went with a gold color, and I really liked what the gold color was. So um then you know these hubcap centers didn't fit right so uh didn't match the color ne neither one would match right so my dad uh decided to get some machine that were kind of cool and we decided not to paint them because uh might change you know change colors on the wheels later or something else so i decided to leave them clear um so what he did is he got a, a, a bar stock here you know um uh, at the size that was a little larger than the centers right so a little larger like so this way so you can see a little better so a little larger than the center so you can get a machine down uh, so just a piece of bar stock it was quite a bit longer than that obviously and then uh, he developed uh, he developed this uh, hubcap that will it goes in it just this fits into the into the middle into the wheel itself and fits tight um, this is his concept, and then he put a, a, a bar on the back side, and this is tied it together so that it doesn't come out of the wheel, right? So this is on the back side of the wheel, and this is his template. Um, so he uh, he made this template because we don't we don't machine we don't have a machine shop. We just have uh, tools in the uh, wood shop. We got a wood shop. We got tools there, and so this is what he did with uh, his template, and he took it down to a machinist. And he had a machinist machine these out, and he put a, a stem on the top, on the other side of it, with screw, a screw hole there. I mean, a, a like a, a kind of a bolt on the end, right? Uh, and then just well, I don't have the bar with me because they're on the wheels because he didn't make any extra bars. But uh, there is uh, the the bar on the back side, just like this is. Just like this bar is a little little wider than this, so this bar right here, uh, it just goes on, slips on over. This slips into the uh, into the center of the wheel. Oh, then we got them engraved with. The, they look kind of plain with just this. So we got some rings engraved, and people kept talking about, well, maybe we should paint match or you know something else because it doesn't look finished. And that was right. I agree. So. Uh, instead of paint match or changing to offset color, I just decided to leave them this color, but put rings in there. And it looks pretty good. I'll roll on some pictures in, in here. So the bar goes here, connects on one side of the wheel, 
then this is on the front side of the wheel and then you just screw this on and then you put your wheels on so everything's uh, kind of tied together these are aluminum so you know it's not gonna say, change any weight on it really it's just a little small piece of aluminum in the middle and it's in the center of the wheel so balancing is not going to be as big of an issue uh, so and the rest is uh, history that you've been seeing me race on those magnesium wheels all over the place and I really like the color on them now they're all they're powder coated and I know paints a little bit lighter but hey my wheels weigh a 14.8 pounds they're not uh, outrageous I mean what's a, a pound of extra paint or something I'm not too concerned about that I mean they're about as light as you can get uh, even you know uh, the lightest aluminum wheels I've seen even out of HRE are 16 pounds for that size they're 19 inch wheels so uh, I'm, I'm just not seeing why that's a problem running uh, a powder coat on it. I really like the, the color. I can change the color. I, I mean, I can go and take them down and have them painted a different color if I want to change the look of the whole entire car. So uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, and I've been loving my wheels. I've been, I just, you know, I just wanted a different finish. I wanted a nice finish on it. And so that's what happened. Um, anyways. Uh, that's that's how what I, I kept I referred to my dad doing a lot of work on my car too with different project things and he likes to tinker with stuff and so when I'm at work he's tooling around uh, uh, he'll take my car and take parts off and go to the powder coater or he'll go to the machinist or whatever else so he'll he'll do all kinds of stuff on my car you know mess around with it when I'm when I'm not when I'm not when I'm at work and working. Anyways, thanks for watching. I just wanted to let you know about my wheels. I just, I like them a lot. I just, uh, I wanted to change the color and I'll change it again sometime. I might put a purple on it. I think this purple would look really good. It's loud, but I think it would look really good, you know, or the red would look really good. All that, Nardo, Nardo really lends itself to a lot of different colors. So Nardo is a, just a cool color. You can match a lot of different colors and bright colors look really good and offset with it. So I really appreciate you watching. Thanks. Thanks again. And, uh, Catch you on the next video.